Okay, so now we are basically done with the character's head. We just have uh, a few tweaks that we need to go and sort out, but I'm going to do that later on. So up next is the body of the character. So we're going to start off with um, the upper body, and then we'll work ourselves uh, into the arms, and then work ourselves down to the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to go to my front view, create panel, and I'm going to grab a box. Okay. So I want to drag this out, okay, more or less in the center, uh, to the center. So I'm just looking at um, that middle line there of um, the neck. Okay, I'm actually just going to ah, just. Let me just redo that. Okay, it's a more or less there. Okay, so with that, I'm just going to go to my left view and I'm just going to push this back, something like that. And then make sure this is more or less in the center there we go okay so with this I'm just gonna go and make this the same color I don't want to attach this to my head yet but I'm just gonna go and make this the same color like that same color we chose at the beginning okay I'm just gonna make this color black over here just so these edges will be black as well and make that black select it first and make that black there we go okay so what we want to do is I want to go and add in a few segments so in my modify panel um, and just give this round numbers we're gonna make that about 20 the width I'll make now I'm gonna leave it at 7 and then the height I'm gonna make that 8 Okay, so with this, what I want to do is want to add in a few segments. So I'm going to add in mm, maybe about, f oh, I can add it more later. I'm just going to stick with three for now. Okay, and then my width segments, I don't need any height segments. I want to put at least one in. Okay, so I think this is going to be a good shape to start with. Yeah, this should be fine for now. Okay, so all I'm going to do, right click, convert to editable poly, vertex mode. And now, what I want to do is I want to go and shape this so it fits and flows along with the body so um, what I want to do I'm going to go to my front view okay and now I want to go and all well, uh, let's go to the left view and now I want to shape this okay so I want to actually see the body so if I hit alt and X I should be able to see through it if you do not you can just right click and go to object properties and then here where it, it shows see through you can just go and select see through okay and click OK and now you can see you can see through it and then at any point in time you can just hit alt X and you can go and switch in between um, that okay so now that I have that I am just going to go and just do some shaping to this I'm gonna bring this out Okay, just something like that. Okay, I go to my front view, take these two, and push them in a little bit. Ok, 
okay let's get a rough shape of what the body should look like more or less and then I'll go to edge mode I'm gonna select these edges and go to connect add one segment in okay go back to vertex mode. I'm gonna drag this down okay just underneath the breasts just drag that down and then again just slowly start to shape this is gonna be her waist okay just straighten this out a little bit better and push these ones down take this one push it up a little bit okay so you just have to go and just get a an estimate of what this should look like more or less okay I think I'm quite happy with that I might add another <coughs> section in there okay I can bring that out a little bit into my left view vertex mode and I can go and shape this okay um, I'm not doing I'm not um, going into the um, the breast area I'm not going to do that now okay because that uh, we're going to do after we just have the basic shape of the body then after that I will go and pull the uh, geometry out okay I'll push this forward a little bit take these ones push that back just something like that okay so you just need to go and just get the basic shape of what the body should look like okay so I think I'm quite happy with the way that looks then what I'm gonna do is my front view I'm just going to select these ones over here and the one in front so I go to my left uh, my perspective view sorry okay I just want to go and push these ones in a little bit okay so just to round it off okay so take it and push it in just make sure you grab the right ones okay I'll go to the back and I'll push these ones in I'm just going to hit Alt-X, I can see what it looks like. Okay, here goes my front view. And push these ones out just a little bit. Okay, so just something like that. So we can just see how it is just rounding out just a little bit. I might push this back some more. Actually, these ones in front, I'm just going to push them in a little bit more. Okay, so something like that. Just to go and just slowly start to give this some roundness. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so once we have the basic shape of the body, we need to go and create this arm hole. Okay, so where the arm is going to be um, connecting into the body. So if I go to my left view, I can go and select these four polygons. Okay, and I can I can go and inset that. Okay, so you can go and insert it as big as you want. Okay, and then I'll click OK. Then back in vertex mode, I'm going to hit Alt X, and now what I basically need to do is I need to go 
and have this um, shape that we just made, that we just uh, inset. I need to go and shape this along the outlines of um, where the arm is going to be. Okay, so the arm hole basically. That is what I need to create now. So this this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, you just need to get it as close as possible. Okay, so I think something like that should be fine. Then what I can also do is I can just go ahead and select some of these and actually just go and just round them out a little bit more. And actually take this one up. something like that, Alt X and I can actually just go and push these ones a little bit forward just to flatten the shape a little bit ok, so take these ones and push them forward ok, just getting it more or less is actually something that we can use is uh, if I select these polygons I can actually go down here where it says make planar and I can go and click on that and what it'll do, I've got my front view it'll straighten that out ok, and then I can go back into vertex mode and then shape however I need to I'm pull that up a little bit, take this shoulder and bring it down and out X. So you're going to take these ones at the back. I see they're not lined up to the front ones. So I'm just going to take these ones and then just line them up a little bit. like that okay and I think that's looking it's looking good okay so the next thing that we need to do is now we need to just get this right okay so the next thing that I'm going to do is we're going to go and uh, finish off the rest of the body. So we're going to be creating the breasts of the character and then after that we will go and create the arms. Okay, so I just paused the video and uh, I just shaped this a little bit better. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go and create the actual breasts so I'm going to go to edge mode select any of these edges hold down shift okay and I'll go to connect add one edge in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and round that out so I can actually go and scale that up a little bit or need rather just go to vertex mode and manually sh uh, shape that push these ones fr forward a little bit okay just to give it some more roundness okay take these ones actually go to my left view okay that's looking good let me take those three I'm gonna push them a little bit like that okay so this is going to be the collarbone. Take that, push that in a little bit. Take these ones. 
Right, before I do that, let me go edge mode, shift, and connect these ones as well. Then I'll go to vertex mode. I can actually go and bring that up, shape that a little bit better. Okay, and then again, just going and smoothing these ones out just to go and just round off that area. Okay, something like that should be fine. I'll do some more adjustment <coughs> as I feel need to in between lessons, but um, for right now, I think that's fine. Okay, <coughs> so the next thing that uh, we want to do, so now that we've added just some more detail to this, so the next thing is let's go and create the breast. So in front view, I'm going to go to my front view and hit Alt X. Okay, so to create them, all I'm going to do is we're going to go to the create panel and I'm going to use a sphere. Okay, and I'm going to go and drag that out, something like that. Okay, so the si uh, the radius, I'm going to work with a round number of about three. And the actual segments, okay, so again we need to take into consideration um, we need to connect this into our body. So currently we have 18 segments. So over here we only have a few okay, on the body. So I'm going to take this down to about 8. Okay, so I'm left with that. Okay, I'm going to right click. Convert that into an editable poly. I'm also going to go and just move it forward. Okay, so look at my body, Alt X that again. Okay, so something like that, go to my front view and let's get this into position. Okay, so I actually don't need those polygons at the back, so I'll just highlight them and just hit delete. Okay, so that should be fine. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to gonna just deselect that, select my body, and go to polygon mode. And I'm going to delete these two polygons, okay, because this is where uh, the brush is actually going to go and connect into. So I'm going to go delete those ones, okay, and I'll deselect that, select the breasts or let's rather select the body and then we'll go to attach and attach that okay so what we need to do now is okay, if I go to my left view go to element mode select this element and I'm just gonna push this down a little bit Okay, so what I need to do now is I'll go to vertex mode, I'm going to right click and I'm going to target weld. Okay, so let me go and target weld this one to that one. I'm going to target weld this one to that one. I'm going to create another <coughs> uh, segment in there for that one. I'm going to target weld this one to that one. And let's see, I'm just going to push this out a little bit. Here we go, and select this, shift, select that, connect, vertex mode, right click and target weld this one to that one. Go to my left view and just shape that. Okay, I'm going to go add another segment in here, so I'll shift click, I should select all the way around, but because I um, deleted these polygons, I'll just go control click and then shift click again, 
Okay, just so I can get all of that. Oh, and um, in between lessons, I just went and just deleted out the side polygons and also the ones here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm left with that because I don't, don't really need them. And then I'll go and hit connect. Vertex mode, I'll right click and target weld. That one to that one. And at the bottom, this one to that one. Okay, so we kind of have a weird shape going on okay so what I actually want to do if I go to my front view I want I don't want to go and merge or weld this edge to that edge and then this edge down to this edge because then that's gonna it's not gonna look right so basically what I want to what I want to do is I'm gonna go to edge mode I'm going to select this edge I'm gonna shift click and drag that out Okay, so something like that. Okay, don't worry if it's going over half of um, uh, the half of the body. I'm gonna go to vertex mode, and I will right click and target weld that edge to that edge. Okay, and then the next thing that I'll do is I'll select this one as well. I'll shift click and drag that out. Go to vertex mode, and right click and target weld that edge to that edge okay go back to my front view and then I can actually select this vertex drag that out a little bit for edge mode select that edge control select that edge and bridge that across with one segment okay so the next thing that I'm gonna do is again if I go to my front view we have a little a little bit of a problem uh, this is not exactly in the center. So what I could do is I can just go and select this and push this in. Maybe take this one and push that slightly in as well. Okay. Or I can just go and select all of those. I'll hit F3 just to make sure I have all of um, the ones here on the edge selected. Just like that. And then I can just go to my front view and my modify panel. I have something called make planar which we used earlier but in this case take a look at your if you have your move tool selected this is my x axis so I'll go make planar in the x and then what that'll do is it'll straighten all of those vertices okay and that's then basically it so we have a very weird shape here so all I need to do now is just go and just slowly start to tweak this. I'll go to my left view, maybe take these ones and pull them down a little bit, take these ones, maybe pull them up a little bit like that. Um, I have a, a few triangles in here which was created by default. So, what I'll do is go to edge mode and I'll select every second one and control backspace. Okay, I'm going to select then these ones so on control and I will inset them. Okay, so something like that. Go to my left view and I can maybe pull them out a little bit and take this edge, this vertex, and just flatten that a little bit. Go to edge mode and I'll just push this back just like that then I'll select this ring connect and then I can actually go and scale that up I can double click this edge and I can also scale that up I'll scale this one up a little bit more select this one and I might need to come individ individually select them Okay, left view, and then I'll scale that as well. And then it's just a matter of shaping. Okay, so all you need to do now is just go and shape this some more. If you wanted to, you can add in a, another edge in here just to make that uh, just flow a little bit better. Okay, so that's just basically uh, how you would go and do that. So, like I said earlier, um, from here on out, I'm not going to be spending too much time 
uh, refining it and, and explaining it, etc., etc. Okay, like I also said, if you can make a character head, there's basically you can make anything. Okay, because a character's head is very complex and has shapes that, uh, that you need to take um, note of, intricate details, and all of that. So, um, from here on, you're going to use your own discretion and shape this however you want. So, for example, if you want to see what this actually looks like with uh, symmetry applied, I'll go and apply symmetry. And I see that I need to go and do some more adjustment uh, in there. I can maybe go and add my turbo smooth as well. Bump that up to three, click on isoline display, and then just have a look uh, until you're happy with it. Okay, so remember if you want to work with your symmetry and your turbo smooth applied, you go and click on the show end result. And then remember, uh, just something that I usually like to do is I just change my cage color to that dark blue, change that to red, and then what I can do as long as this is turned on, then I can go and do some more shaping. So with this turbo smooth applied, see so for, for example if I select this top piece of here, then I can actually go and see what the final result will look like. So I can now go and do some more shaping with um, the symmetry applied and also with the turbo smooth. Okay, so that's just basically it. Okay, so I'll just go again in between lessons and I'll just go and just round them out some more and uh, make them not look as weird as that. Okay, so that's it for creating the body. Okay, so before I end this lesson, I'm just going to go delete these ones. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go and attach the uh, body to the head. Okay, and then from there we'll go and create the arms. Okay, <coughs> so I just went and just did some more smoothing. Okay, to that. Okay, again, just to give it um, a little bit of a better shape. Um, it's not final yet, but uh, uh, we'll get to that. So, last thing before I end this lesson, uh, I just want to go and attach the uh, body to the actual head okay so how are we going to do that so I'm going to select uh, the body I'm just going to right click and just get rid of that symmetry don't need that and then the polygon mode I'm going to go and select uh, these two polygons and then I will hit delete okay because this is where our neck is going to go into okay so uh, by looking at the reference image, I see my neck is a little bit too um, thin. So, what I could do is I can actually go select the neck, edit poly, and I can actually go and scale that out. Let me actually show end result. Okay. I see this is going over. Um, so I don't want that edge to to go over. That is going to cause problems. Uh, ah, um, what I could do is I can actually I'll get rid of the turbo smooth. Okay, what I can actually do is with this head shape I can actually right click and convert that into an editable poly and what it'll do it'll create this into a solid shape okay then I can just go to edge mode uh, I'll go to my front view and I will scale that up take these ones scale that up a little bit take this one and scale that up what I'm also going to do I'm going to add in another segment in here so I'll connect and I'll scale that in a little bit Select this one, connect, there we go, and I'll scale that in as well. Okay, so just something like that. Okay, so once I have that, I will just go select the head 
and I'll go to polygon mode go to my front, make sure I'm in my front view and I'll just go and select all of that, hold down control and highlight over that okay, I can go hit F3 go to my perspective view and just see if I have half of everything yes it looks like it and then I can just go and hit delete go back to my front view and want to make sure that these ones actually align so before I do that okay I see that uh, the head doesn't have anything in the modifier stack and neither does the body so I'll go select the head I'll click on attach attach the body okay go to vertex mode and I'm gonna highlight over those vertices okay I wanna see I have an extra one there that I don't need I'm gonna retry this okay so I'll just hit F3 again just wanna make sure that I have all of them Okay, I'll go to F3 again, and it looks like I do. Okay, and then with all of that selected, what I'll do is I'll go again and make planar in the X, and that'll straighten all of that out. And there we go. So, the next thing that we'll do is just like we attach the neck to the head, we're going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to right click and target weld so I'm going to target weld from here to the neck and target weld from here to here and I'm F3 I'm going to target weld from here to here okay target weld that one to that one and then this one to that one okay so we're gonna have a, a little bit of an issue okay so I actually just went and had a look at this okay so I'm gonna right click and target world from here down to here okay so I'm gonna make a few triangles I'm gonna target well again uh, from this one to that one and then F3 from this one to that one okay so although I have triangles in here I'm actually gonna have another one right click uh, target world this one to this one okay it doesn't want to so I'm just gonna go and cut quickly so I'm gonna ha I have a few triangles in here but this won't really affect it um, in a major way okay so this will still allow it to to form properly it won't really have uh, a negative impact uh, on this character okay it's not really that big of a deal okay so uh, I'm gonna right click and cut I'm gonna right click and cut from here I'll hit F3 and I'll cut to the edge of that line and then I'll right click and target weld from here to here okay F3 again so with this one the last one that I have I'm gonna right click and cut from here to here and then just cut all the way up okay so now we have another triangle okay but like I said couple of lessons ago can't always avoid them but I'll try and remove that if we can okay so then I can just right click and target target weld this one to this one okay and that's it
there we have it so again I can go to my left view vertex mode and shape this and do all of that one thing that I want to do real quick is we're going to go to element mode and I'll clear all my smoothing groups add it to one smoothing group and I can go and relax that okay but not too much I'll go like zero point two maybe something like that okay I don't want to relax it too much uh, otherwise I'm gonna lose quite a lot of detail so don't when you use that relax you don't want to go too much otherwise you start losing detail and you have to go back in and shape okay so what I'll do next is I'll select that and I can just select any one of these edges I'll just have any one of them selected and I'll go and apply my symmetry I'll flip that and then I'll go and apply my turbo smooth again three iterations isoline display I'm just going to take F4 off just for now and there we go okay so it's far from done okay so we still have uh, the body is a little bit weird for now but uh, we'll go and fix that later on okay and that's it for lesson 10 so the next thing that we'll do is we're going to go and create the arms